So I spend a lot of time teaching ethics in our profession um, to college students uh, where I teach, also to mid-career professionals in lectures and things like that. And what I find is that people have, I mean, first of all, everybody agrees there's been a tremendous decline in trust in institutions generally, and that includes corporations, it includes government agencies, it includes religious organizations, virtually every institution has come under, under fire. But I think in the communications profession, we have a special responsibility to examine our own behavior, our own tactics, our own uh, performance to see if we're contributing to that or, or are we helping. And I think the more we can do to be transparent, truly transparent in the way we advocate for positions, to enhance our own credibility by being truthful in the, in the way we convey messages, to counsel those who are our clients or, or our organizations to be more open and more honest in the, in the way they communicate, the better it's going to help our profession repair its own damaged reputation because we have part of that responsibility. Um, and generally speaking, I think what people are seeking is that they know who is the sponsor of the advocacy you know, on any subject, who's behind it, who's paying for it, uh, why is the message being uh, transmitted. And the more we can be open and honest about that, I think the better we're going to be perceived as being people who try to encourage that sort of uh, trust as opposed to damaging it. Let me ask. I think the, the reason behaving in a, in a truthful, ethical way is sometimes challenging is because we know that on any given position, there are going to be proponents and opponents. I mean, that's just the way life works. And sometimes I think we're a little bit afraid to win just on the strength of our argument. And so we create a survey that we, we already kind of know what the results are going to be, or we put a spokesman up and don't clearly identify the fact that that spokesman is being paid to advocate a position, or we do other things like that. And what I think we have to do is go back to the strength of our ideas. If there are weaknesses in the position that we have, fix the weaknesses. You know, address those in, as opposed to trying to sell through the weaknesses. Um, it is hard work. It's hard work to be truthful and honest and still advocate a position strongly. But people now find out. Whenever you do something that's not totally transparent and open and honest, people just find out. That that's the way the world works now. So it's better for us in the long run to, to go on the strength of our ideas and arguments as opposed to trying to win on tactics that others will perceive as being dishonest or misleading.